about something else than both. <laughs> so I would say, so my job is to take it from a communication point of view, which you took from a both an identity kind of view, branding kind of view. I would like to look at it as a communication challenge. And thereby I just start by saying it's not milk that is attacked. Milk is not an attack. I think it's something else. You, as other, as many other um, companies, are coming to normal when it comes to communication. Coming to the new normal. It's not about milk. It's about not only about consumers, but it's also about people, all of us, with the changed role as communicators. And Arler's role as communicator has changed very much. So I want to stress this is a communication case competition. I think it's a challenge in the field of corporate communication and or organizational communication. And it's about the new normal. Because the new normal has impact on what we in the old days called, called stakeholder communication, what we in the old days called branding, what we in the old days called issues management, relationship building. And some began to talk about if there is such a thing like new public relations, new public affairs, or should we abandon all of these? Because really new PR is no longer PR, but something else. Because we are living in a push society. No longer in a push society where you, with experts or without experts, can push your, what is called, a message. That's an old time term, a message. You cannot push your message anymore. But you can hope that people will pull for it and can help them to pull for it. So, what's the new normal? As I said before, now it also comes for all of them. It's about networks. It's about technology and the interdependence of, on the one side, technology and different networks. It's about networks of media so-called analog media and so-called digital media and networks of your stakeholders. One of them, of course, very important, the consumers. Unfortunately, the consumers are no longer just consumers. They also produce the brand, the message, and how your milk looks like. So they are prosumers. They are kind of active consumers. They produce something, maybe not the milk itself, but what we think when we hear the word milk. So it's about networks of users of the media, networks of stakeholders. And here's a new thing. These networks of stakeholders, they interact with each other. They talk to each other. They are working together, sometimes against each other, and this is very dynamic. It's changing all the time. And very, very important, Allah is no longer in the middle of the world. So therefore, milk is not, neither Allah is a tech. But something, some dynamics is going out there, is happening that has the effect that Allah no longer has the discursive power, you could say, to define milk as healthy, even natural. Why is that? I think Allah should think, or at least you, when you try to give some advice to Allah about these new forms of stakeholder management and stakeholder communications. Number one, bye-bye control.
goodbye to one sender. There are many senders. And your organization is not in the center. That does not only count for all. That, calls, that counts almost for every company, every organization. And these networks out there, they are dynamic. They look tomorrow different from today. And maybe the day after tomorrow, they live different again. And that's the reason why it, the situation is like it is. We have these networks of media. We use them. Sometimes three of them at the time. Not one screen, second screen, third screen. We have watches that count almost everything, not only the time, our blood pressure, and gives the information to other people, gives the temperature and all that stuff. So there is a generation called the digital natives. And even the first, we have the first people that you could say are saying, it's enough. I want to be offline now. So I think when it comes to stakeholders and when it comes to stakeholder management, I think this is the basis for every kind of communication. It may be crisis communication, it may be issues management, it may be branding communication, market communication. Now it comes to an end, in the middle is, in the middle of what you are doing in your strategic communication, there is an idea of stakeholders. We are back to all Greece here, and some of the uh, companies still have this picture of that they are like the Earth in the middle of the universe. As the old Greek philosopher and astronomer, Mr. Ptolemy said. Some are a little bit further. They have the idea, maybe we are not in the middle of it, something else, but we are nearby. Like Copernicus, in the middle of the universe there is the sun. And the earth is near the sun. But forget, the world looks like that. It's networks with different centers, with changing centers, with changing relations all the time. Of course, this is borrowed by Mr. Costell's sociologist. And I think Lego's shell gate is a good example how, in this case, Lego thought there were, in the middle of the universe, Greenpeace was attacking, not milk, but Lego, but in reality Greenpeace was attacking the drilling of shell in the Antarctic. Lego didn't want to talk to Greenpeace. They said, we want to talk, we do not want to listen to them. They talked to the press and said, it's not us drilling in the Antarctic. We cannot do anything about shell. And Greenpeace did very good uh, move in the social media on YouTube. And I'll show you. Thank you. 
unfortunately, Lego reacted on this video by getting it out of YouTube for copyright reasons. <laughs> because they, of course, mashed both the song and the video of Lego, the original one, which was everyone, every song. This is awesome. And what happened? Remember, we are in what I call the new standard. The video went viral, and millions of people wanted to see it and to share it. After a long time of silence at the very end, Lego decided to cooperate with Shell one more year because that was a contract with Shell and then ended the contract. And a little bit later, not because of this video, not only because of this video, but nevertheless, Shell stopped drilling, at least at one point at the moment, drilling in the Antarctic. So, Lego and Shell, I would say it's welcome to the new normal. And forget anything about control, and think about new stakeholder communication. There are dynamic networks of stakeholders. We have the media convergence, both the analog, uh, the analog and the digital ones. We have, uh, we have the uh, application, program, interfaces, so that almost everything, variables, even our refrigerator, our mobile phone, our computer, our watch, they all can talk to each other. It's much about user-generated content. We talked about the presumers. Maybe they are not only recipients anymore, or audience, but maybe they are recipients. They are co-creators, not only of messages, but also of how we think about <coughs> things. For example, milk. So media are digital, mobile, interactive, social. They are even embodied. You know where your cell phone is. And when it rings, it gets a vibration which is really almost into your body. So there's much talk about HR smart data and even open HR smart data. And the new stakeholder communication still is about, on the one side, community building, but also on the other side, about stakeholder communication. Everything is awesome again. Thank you.